So it's asked a question on, uh, let's say, if someone's above integrity at that level of consciousness and just below, uh, just below integrity at, at their level of consciousness, who has the more spiritual power? Well, the one that has the more spiritual power is going to be the one at the high level of consciousness. But what would actually happen there is that um, uh, it's more complicated than that. So even though one can be above integrity, one can still have a lot of weaknesses that one hasn't resolved yet, uh, that mean one can get pulled down to a lower level of consciousness. And also, um, uh, now, the one at the low level of consciousness will also have, let's say, thank you, thank you, Dimitra, lots of different vulnerabilities as well, uh, and also weaknesses. So what could happen is that, you know, the one at the high level of consciousness uh, may say or do something out of that higher level of consciousness which may bring the other one up into integrity. They may face something within their ego that they've not face it, faced and go above integrity. But quite equally, you know, it's like the one below integrity is like being orchestrated by the Luciferic energies. So the one, the Luciferic energies, um, what the Luciferic energies in the collective want to do is to pull down anyone above integrity or in the light. So, um, uh, we all sort of see this in, uh, in spiritual groups where if someone is good, another person may be jealous and try and say something to pull them out of their spiritual state. And that is, uh, that's just the mischievousness of people at low integrity. If they see someone happy and blissed out, they'll probably try and poke something at a weakness. Now sometimes someone at a high level of spiritual, high spiritual consciousness will also be able to sense intuitively how the one at the low integrity, where what the thing is in them that they need to resolve or be challenged by to go through a certain level of courage to let go of, to, to become into integrity. So which is going to happen uh, when someone of a high, higher integrity and someone just of a low integrity meets? Well, that's complicated. It would depend on the karma, the karma and the beliefs of both individuals. And sometimes it can be that, um, shall we say, karmically, you know, um, that test is organized. And it's like a test for both individuals. There's an option for one, to, uh, for the one at lower integrity to be challenged on something that they're out of integrity with, like, uh, and then suddenly have the courage at that, then in that moment to face it and then go above integrity. Or, they may be orchestrated by the, you know, the negativity in them or the Luciferic energies within them and, and be somehow aware and be brought in the situation to challenge the one at a certain level of integrity with the one weakness they haven't yet resolved that they need to get through to go to the next level. They may fail. That often happens with uh, spiritual teachers. Um, <clears throat> you know, so uh, in the sense that even if you're very high in spiritual consciousness, um, you know, uh, even if you're at, at, at conditional love, you've still not passed the lessons for unconditional love. Even if you're at unconditional love, you've still not passed the levels for the first level of enlightenment or beingness. And even if the first level of beingness, you still haven't um, passed the tests to go to, you know, the most high. Uh, as uh, that would be the, uh, the high level test such as um, uh, Jesus Christ was saying in uh, when Lucifer offered power and dominion over the world so there's different tests no matter how far you are at that uh, almost like pass fail tests where you can go up enormously or you can go down and and uh, so so that is the answer to very interesting question, you know, what happens when someone at a certain level of consciousness meets another level? I mean, on a certain level, in absolute truth, none of this exists because it's kind of dualistic conceptual. But within the level of the duality, you know, these, while you're identified with anything within the, the realm of form, then these seeming tests seem to occur, where you, you could say you're becoming more identified with the illusion, uh, uh, and more gripped by all the illusory ideas within the illusion, or you become more free into, into the more uh, uh, sublime and infinite levels, which are not, uh, not suffering you know, the identification with the various illusions that, that are here.